Okay, viewers, Hot Money Gamer here, and I've done some screwing around just to make sure there was nothing that we needed in preparation, of course. And I talked, uh, well, I didn't really do that off screen. I actually talked to everybody in a private message in the last one. Anyway, we are back with Moisture Ocean. Uh, last time, we kind of just, you know, got to the port of Hilton or whatever it's called and decided that we need to move on. So, what we're going to do today is just kind of explore a little bit of what this area has to offer. I think over there was the core, but let's just kind of explore in different directions, see what we can find. Um, really, I probably should have saved, just in case we run into enemy that kills us. Well, even though it's in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to do it, just because better safe than sorry, you know? Too bad we're gonna miss out on a lot of stuff, but I don't know. I do recommend leveling up your characters a lot, though, anyway. Stay focused. Be careful. Holy fuck, if I remember what this thing is... Twin staff. Shooting star. Uh, this is what killed me a lot when I first came here. Reflection! Uh oh the first time I ever fought this type of enemy, I think, uh, it seemed invincible. Because, you know, like I said, I rushed through the game, so I was a very low level when I got here, because I didn't do any of the, um, you know, special, uh, side quests. Just hit triangle by accident trying to switch characters. Spells that can really help us out much here. Energy now. Your life. <laughs> Celine just got murdered too. Damn, poor Rena. Yeah. Hey, ah. yeah, I don't really expect Rena to be able to really do much of anything oh, against this move. enemy. But, you know. Let's see. Um, do we have any that cures um, paralysis? Hmm. Ah. Yeah, that wasn't really going to end well. Kind of expected that. Yeah, those salamander enemies, I don't know what the fuck is up with those, but they are, like, invincible. I've fought them only, like, a couple of times, but, um, like, when I've ever, when I've played the game before, but, like, you know, before that time, I didn't really use the book that much, because I just kind of wanted to play the game, you know, as is, and every time I would fight those enemies... You know, I would fight him because I was like, well, you, need, you know, you need the experiment, the experience, so I might as well try to fight him, you know. But every single time I did, it was just like, oh, what's that? You're hitting me with a stick? Yeah, that's right, that's what you're hitting me with. So you're never going to kill me more or less, you know. And I was like, oh, well, hmm, that's interesting. Um...
trying to figure out if there's like an enemy guide here so I can tell you about it. Let's see. Like a bestiary type thing, you know? I don't actually think there is. No, there's not. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and load the game back up. Get back to the town if we can. We're just gonna run away if we run into one of those salamander enemies. It probably wouldn't hurt to try to do some leveling around here if you don't run into the salamander enemies. They look pretty tough. <coughs> Stay focused. Uh, I don't think these guys are actually that tough. No, see, these aren't too You're bad. You're too easy. <coughs> Oh, by the way, I was testing out some of Astron's um, kill and moves the last time I played, just to, you know, give them a shot and see how they work. Um, a lot of them are actually more difficult to use than you would think. Um, for example, I was trying to use, like, one of his, like, moves that's like, I don't remember what it's called. Um, ready, you two? Are you ready? It's like a um. Starlight. Like a, it's like called piercing swords. I think it's one of them. And he like throws his um, you know, swords like at his enemy. Want. But if the enemy moves around a lot, it will always miss. Like here, let me go to the menu and show off all the skills that all the specialities that he has, all the killer moves, I guess what they're actually called. So he has piercing swords, a technique in which swords are thrown at enemies like darts. He has leaf slash, hide in countless fallen leaves and instantly slices up the enemy. And then we have Northern Cross. Northern Cross is the one that I tried using. And basically what he does is like he says, a technique in which a huge ice figure is created to attack the enemy. Now like I said, if the enemy moves around a whole lot, you'll always miss. Same goes for piercing sword. Twin stab and cross slash are pretty much the same, where you will always miss if you are, if the enemy moves. So I don't know. It just seems like he's more of like a pure offensive, in, like you know, character where you know you're never going to be able to really just attack, you know, with him. You're going to have to just you know try things out. They look pretty tough. Stay focused. These are actually enemies we've run into before. Shooting star! Cool, I just dazed that enemy. Looks like we won! It looked like the enemy actually used uh, drain against her too. Astron leveled up, which is good because we need all the levels we can get. What level are we anyway? Yeah, see, we're level 24 and 24 of our arena in Astron. And Cloud is level 27, Selene's 26, and we're still getting our butts handed to us, despite the fact that, you know, we're that high of level. Um, I can't really recommend to you what level to be, because like I said, this is pretty much as far as I got into the game, if you can believe that. Sad but true, this is as far as I got. <coughs> so pretty much, from this point on, the game's gonna be blind. That guy, I think, can actually turn you to stone, so you gotta be careful. Anyway, let's go back to town, because we need to see if we can't find Cure Paralysis. So just in case we ever run into that Salamander enemy again. <coughs> like I said, though, if you do, you run away, but, you know... It's always a good idea to just come over and... If you need him, by... I don't give two fucks about your instruments. I just happened to accidentally run up to your place. Um, that's weird. It's like you have to walk just to get this place to trigger. There you go. I can't tell if that's like a glitch or what, but anyway. Um, I apparently have some, but we need more. Hmm. 
definitely need a couple of those too. Apparently we have some already. Just restores HP, that's it. Hmm, okay. Max is tonic. Finds us such a presence with the silly smothers. Does nothing to help us. Aids and status recovery. It's also extremely expensive. I still don't understand why you would need rose hips. Oh yeah, Mandrake here, we've just found out that if you tried using it like it is, it would hurt you. <laughs> Alright, so now we're a little bit more prepared. Wait, did I ever equip those, um... I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Wasn't there like a way to like put on the best, yeah, most powerful equipment? There we go, yeah. He already has it, that's right. <coughs> it looks like our flame blade is gonna need to be, um, turned in soon. Now, if I would have had that one item I couldn't steal, I would have the best weapon in the game and not have to worry about it. But, seeing as how I don't, there's nothing I can really do about that right now. Now, if you do want to try leveling up before coming here, I recommend going to the Heraldi Forest or that uh, one area, uh, what's it called? Um, that mountain pass we were on. You can also no go choice. there, but it's a little bit out of your way. Shooting stars! Starlight! Ha! Air blast! Nice, an insta kill. Yeah, we were cool with this. I mean, we're only getting 200. I did it. Ooh, I did it. Nice. We got only get 255 experience each, but oh well. Oh yeah, I need to have Rena heal herself the next opportunity. Just use regular heal since I've been trying to level it up anyway. Work out, I think. Nah, everything's gonna go bad. <laughs> How could you possibly miss? <laughs> yeah, I can tell you right now, though, if you try using the uh, if you just have your friends run in and attack that salamander enemy that we've that I've had kill us a few times, well just once actually, uh, you're not gonna get anywhere. Trust me, because <coughs> every single time my co uh, cohorts or whatever you want to call them would run in, they would always get their ass killed like easily. Anyway, let's see if we can't find something for that. Yeah, I don't really see anything useful for it. Let's see if I can just find it here. Okay, it says the salamanders are in fact the most powerful enemy in this area. Um, the thing is, 
and he didn't tell me anything else besides that. They give you the most experience points though <coughs> at this point. It's just that they're almost impossible to kill until you're a high enough level. Here's the enemy. And they, they say that if you up. can take them out, then you're Shoot ready to move on. Ah. I forgot that he flies over the disabilities. And it says this if you get anywhere near Lacor, that's where it's gonna start fighting salamanders. What? Now you can always go into Lacor. So happy. But if you do, of course, you're going to uh, trigger the next scene of events. Uh, I was just going to, like, you know, show off many of the enemies around here just in this episode, you know, kind of like a battle layout type thing so that you know what to look out for and what not to worry about. But most of the enemies seem to be the same of what we've seen before, the like enemy. these guys, of course. Delay. And of course, during these, Rena always uses delay. Ha! 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 You know, if it wasn't such a useful spell, then yeah, I would be like... Cancel's effective change and or spell on one friend. Nice. I don't know why I like casting Deep Mist, even though it's not really necessary. Well, that word I'm wearing around 80 points. Actually, 600, but yeah. Speaking of, let's check our skills of our team, just for now. Okay, Rena's got some. That could be useful for later, but not really right now. Alright, that can be useful for later, but not right now. have scout on. Uh, I need to turn that off, actually. <laughs> um, how do you do that? Um, yes, yeah, under speciality. Scout, do nothing. Make sure the same is for Renix. I don't know if both of them work together. Okay, yeah, they both work together. Yeah, as you notice, I had it set for look for enemies so that I could, you know, level up before. Um, that's dangerous though, you don't really want to have that on when, you know... Be careful! Better be careful! Shooting you know, stars. doing stuff like this. Air slash! Ha! Get in <laughs> crazy. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically all I have to show you now, so um, I guess in like the five minutes that we have left, let's go back into the port of uh, whatever the hell it's called, and we're gonna go try and um, set up a um, Like set up a private action. Uh oh! Silence. Oh 
You mean getting hit twice by a really pal a really annoying drain spell? Weak, yeah. Anyway, um, I wonder if you can skip this when you do a cross back. No. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end this episode and meet you in um, the town of Mars, because that's where we're gonna be since this does take a little bit of time. Till then, everyone. Bye.